loss in Oscoda Township has been on the rise. Oscoda Township Supervisor Bill Palmer wants to assure the community that they are working on the solution to the problem. We're working on it uh, diligently. F&V, our engineering firm, is, is constantly out in the field. The reason that the loss has been occurring has been a developing concern for many people in the community. Palmer says that there are many reasons that could contribute to the water loss, including leaking faucets, cracks in water lines, and old water piping underground. The problem is with our sandy soil conditions, there can be a, a, a break in a line underground um, that doesn't appear. Right now, the township is focusing on replacing the old water mains underground. We'll be focusing on some of our older um, water mains, some of which are 70, 75 years old, been in the ground a long time. And I'm, I'm sure there's some of those that are probably have leaks and have problems. So we'll be focusing on then trying to replace those lines. Go to Township wants to assure people in the area that there are no tax dollars involved when it comes to the water systems. The water supply is self-funded. By state law, it requires that it funds itself. So there, there are no tax dollars involved in our water system. Township is asking for help in decreasing the rise in water loss. If you notice any leaks or cracks and even changes in the amount of water above ground, they suggest reporting it to the water department. The report could make a big difference in the amount of water lost per month. If, if homeowners notice water standing anywhere in their yard, even a little bit, um, they need to contact our water department right away. Let's go to Township. Lindsay Jarrell, WBKB News.